In this video, we're going to show you how to trade the bull flag and bear flag pattern like a pro. Many traders use this pattern incorrectly, which results in a lot of losing trades. We're going to show you how to fix that. There's also a massive chart patterns trading guide that works in combination with this video. As always, please hit the like button, but more importantly, make sure to hit the notifications bell so that you know exactly when we release new videos. Starting with the bull flag pattern. Here is the anatomy of the bull flag pattern. You have your flag pull, which is the moving uptrend. You then have your bull flag pattern, which is a descending channel. The bull flag pattern has two parallel downward sloping trend lines placed above and below, connecting the lower highs and lower lows. The angle and slant of the two trend lines mirror each other. The bull flag pattern signals consolidation and a pullback. Once you have a break above the upper trend line, this signals the consolidation and pullback is over and that the larger uptrend will continue. Or to be more specific, a break above signals new buyers have entered the market and signals fresh upwards momentum, which is what pushes price even higher. If price breaks below the pattern, this can signal a possible trend change downwards. Let's show this on the charts. You have your flag pull and moving uptrend. Bull flag pattern and descending channel. Downwards slanted trend line above, parallel trend line below. Once you have a break above the upper trend line, you would take a long entry as the larger uptrend will continue. Flag pull and moving uptrend. Bull flag pattern and descending channel. Downwards slanted trend line above, parallel trend line below. Once you have a break above the upper trend line, you would take a long entry as the larger uptrend will continue. Moving on to a bear flag pattern. Here is the anatomy of the bear flag pattern. You have your flag pull, which is the moving downtrend. You then have your bear flag pattern, which is an ascending channel. The bear flag pattern has two parallel upwards sloping trend lines placed above and below, connecting the higher highs and higher lows. The angle and slant of the two trend lines mirror each other. The bear flag pattern signals consolidation and a pullback. Once you have a break below the lower trend line, this signals the consolidation and pullback is over and that the larger downtrend will continue. Or to be more specific, a break below signals new sellers have entered the market and signals fresh downwards momentum, which is what pushes price lower. Now, if price breaks above the pattern, this can signal a possible trend change upwards. Let's show this on the charts. Flag pull and moving downtrend. Bear flag pattern and ascending channel. Upward slanted trend line above, parallel trend line below. Once you have a break below the lower trend line, you would take a short entry as the larger downtrend will continue. Flag pull and moving downtrend. Bear flag pattern and ascending channel. Upward slanted trend line above, parallel trend line below. Once you have a break below the lower trend line, you would take a short entry as the larger downtrend will continue. Flag pull, bear flag pattern, upward slanted trend lines. But now, notice how price breaks above and not below, which triggers a trend change and reversal as price makes a higher high. In this case, you would take long reversal trades instead of short trades. Now, here's a key point. Don't look for picture perfect by the book patterns every time. Treat patterns as rough approximations, just like the market as a whole. Because if you wait for picture perfect everything, you'll miss out on 95% of the best trades. Moving on to a neutral flag pattern. Here is the anatomy of the neutral flag pattern in an uptrend. You have your flag pole, which is a moving uptrend. You then have your neutral flag pattern, which is a horizontal channel. The neutral flag pattern has two parallel horizontal lines placed above and below, connecting the swing highs and swing lows. This is also known as support and resistance. The neutral flag pattern signals consolidation and indecision. Once you have a break above the resistance level, this signals the consolidation is over and that the larger uptrend will continue. Or to be more specific, a break above signals new buyers have entered the market and signals fresh upwards momentum, which is what pushes price higher. If price breaks below, this can signal a possible trend change downwards. Now going in the opposite direction. A neutral flag pattern in a downtrend. Your flag pole is a moving downtrend. You have your neutral flag pattern, which is a horizontal channel. Once you have a break below the support level, this signals the consolidation is over and that the larger downtrend will continue. Or to be more specific, a break below signals new sellers have entered the market and signals fresh downwards momentum, which is what pushes price lower. 
If price breaks above, this can signal a possible trend change upwards. Let's show this on the charts. Flag pull and moving uptrend. Neutral flag pattern and horizontal channel. Two parallel trend lines are placed above and below, connecting the swing highs and swing lows. Once you have a break above resistance, you would take a long entry as the larger uptrend will continue, going in the opposite direction. Flag pull and moving downtrend. Neutral flag pattern and horizontal channel. Two parallel lines placed above and below, connecting the swing highs and swing lows. Once you have a break below support, you would take a short entry as a larger downtrend will continue. Before we continue, we want to hear from you. Tell us in the comments below right now what video topics we should cover next. As always, please hit the like button as it allows for our team to continue to produce more free videos on YouTube. Let's now go through some advanced techniques for using these flag patterns. Strategy number one, pullback entry. So you have your flag pull, bull flag pattern. Your entry one is here on the break. Now, there is always a second entry point on flag pattern breaks through using the reversal points to the left as a new support level. Price pulls back with a long wick candle reaction. And once you have an intraday trend change, you would take a long entry. This strategy works the same for bear flag patterns, except everything is flipped. So next, strategy number two, using flag patterns to get through key levels. This reversal point here gives you a key level. You have your flag pull and your bull flag pattern right at the key level. Now, if this pullback continues downwards, then this becomes a reversal setup. But instead, price breaks above the pattern and through the key level, which signals new buyers have stepped in to continue the push upwards and tells you that the pullback here was just profit taking and not an area where short sellers entered in heavily. You could then take breakout long trades without being afraid of a false breakout as the bull flag consolidation pattern allowed for long buyers to take profit and get out before new long buyers entered to continue the larger uptrend. Let's show this again. This reversal point here gives you a key level. You have your flag pull and your neutral flag pattern right at the key level. Now, if this pattern breaks below, this would signal a true reversal and a larger move downwards is coming. But instead, price breaks above the pattern and through the key level, which signals new buyers have stepped in to continue the push upwards and tells you that the consolidation here was just profit taking and not an area where short sellers entered in heavily. You could then take breakout long trades without being afraid of a false breakout as the neutral flag pattern consolidation allowed for long buyers to take profit and get out before new long buyers entered to continue the larger uptrend. This strategy works the same for bear flag patterns, except everything is flipped. So next, strategy number three, using flags to trade breakouts. This reversal point here gives you a key level. As price breaks through the level, this shows how strong the uptrend is. So you want to trade with the trend. Now, how do you know if this is a false breakout or not? Meaning price can break through and trap all those breakout long traders before reversing drastically. To get around this problem, look for a pullback to the new support level. Flag pull and uptrend. Bull flag pattern and descending channel that is right at the new support level, making this a high quality long trade setup. Once you have a break above the pattern, this signals the consolidation is over and that new buyers have entered the market to continue the push upwards and is when you would take long entries. So next, strategy number four, imperfect flags to trade reversals. This here is an imperfect flag because your flag pull is not an uptrend, but is a downtrend. Regardless, once you have a break above, this still signals a trend change as you have a higher high. You also have another entry point here through the pullback to the top side of the pattern and to the new support level. Let's now show this combined with key levels. You have a moving uptrend, so you want to trade with the trend. This here was your trade setup area as you have a support level and trend line that crossed as well as long wick candlestick price action. So you need to look inside of this area for a trend change confirmation. So let's pull up the lower intraday timeframe. On the left is the main timeframe we just looked at. And on the right is the same asset, but on the lower intraday time frame. This trade setup area here is this same area here. You have an imperfect flag pattern because your flag pull is a downtrend instead of an uptrend. Regardless, once you have a break above the flag pattern and higher high, this signals the downtrend is over and that the larger uptrend will continue. You would then go to the even lower intraday time frames and use our entry strategy and key tool for a precision long trade. 
To get access to the advanced patterns trading guide that works in combination with this video, head on over to our website at wisetrade.com. Don't forget to tell us in the comments below what topics you want us to cover next. Make sure to hit the like button on this video, but more importantly, make sure to hit the notifications bell so that you know exactly when we release new videos.